Hey folks, Ray Hollister here. So something about me that's kind of quirky is I love to try new things, especially new things for some reason from fast food joints. So I decided that I'm gonna start sharing that with you guys because I thought maybe you'd want to find out about new stuff too. And if it's not good, you don't have to try it. And if it's good, you'll know. So I stopped by Burger King today and they've got the double XL barbecue cheeseburger. So basically what this is, they took the bun from a chicken sandwich and they put two patties of beef on there, some barbecue sauce, cheese, and some onion rings on there. So it sounded kind of good. Not good for you. I'm sure it's full of calories and fat that I should not be eating, but it sounded good. So I've been wanting to try it, but I wanted to wait until I got this video set up so I could share it with you guys. Hey, if you like this, make sure to like the video. If you don't like it, make sure to dislike the video. Let me know so I can know if you want me to do more of these or you want me to stop doing this because it's really annoying. Let me know, I need your feedback. So I'm gonna try this out. Let me see what this is like. That's pretty good. I'm surprised. It's not too bad. I mean, this isn't the most amazing thing I've ever eaten, but um, it's kind of nice. If I really wanted two cheeseburgers, okay, yeah, that works. The barbecue sauce is very sweet, a little tangy, not too bad. Um, I'm surprised at how not crunchy the onion rings are. I thought they'd be, you know, like a little bit more texture, give it a little bit of pop, but they're kind of just there, which they add good flavor, but not really impressive on the texture side. Not sure if that's just my Burger King or if that's just how they are all together, but I'm not really impressed with the onion rings. Um, the cheese is the cheese. The, the bun on this one I think is a little stale. I mean, it's not stale, but it's, you know, just like it's gonna be stale pretty soon. So not that wonderful, but uh, overall, it, it's not terrible. A good combination of flavors. But this is good, this is good. The, it's just enough flavor to really make it pop without being too overwhelming. It tastes exactly like the barbecue sauce they use for the chicken nuggets, so I'm assuming that's where they got it from. Hmm. Okay, so that time the onion ring was a little bit more crunchy, so I'm thinking they might have just had some kind of soggy ones. It's hard because, you know, the onion rings and the barbecue sauce are together, you see that? So it, it's gonna be hard to keep that texture going because that's gonna mess mess with it you know the sauce will make the onion rings not as crunchy so I ate this like two or three minutes ago it hasn't been very long just long enough for the onion rings to lose a little bit of their crunchiness I'll try one more this isn't something that I would get every single time it's not that great I'd say maybe on a scale of one to ten it's a six yeah it's not fantastic but it's not bad by any means and like I said, a good combination of flavors. So, if you're hungry, if you're really hungry, you want something more than a Whopper Junior, you know, I'd say this is probably on par with a Whopper, maybe a little bit more meat than a Whopper, but, you know, if you're really hungry, you want to get something to eat, want to try something different, I'd say give it a shot. It's not that bad. Alright, so, that's it. I'm Ray Hollister. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like this video if you like it. And, hey, I'm not... It doesn't hurt my feelings. If you hated this video, dislike it. Let me know. Give me feedback. I appreciate it. Subscribe. Bye.